Hello, my name is Paul Stryer, an architecture consulting engineer with Cisco Systems. In this video, we will upgrade a unified computing system C-Series server firmware from version 1.1.1 to 1.3.2i. The lab agenda in this video is as follows. First, we will download UCS C-Series firmware from Cisco.com. Next, we will show the errors presented by trying to upgrade an older C-Series server with 1.1.1 firmware to the latest version of code. To make the transition from 1.1.1 to the latest firmware, we must first upgrade to 1.1.1D, and then the latest version to get everything working. Once we upgrade the server to 1.1.1D, then we'll be able to upgrade directly to the latest version, bypassing all the versions in between. Downloading firmware from Cisco.com. To obtain the firmware, go to Cisco.com and log in. Go to Support. In the search field, type C210 and click Find. From Select a Product screen, select Cisco UCS C210 M1 Rack Mount Server Software. Select Unified Computing System Server Firmware. Select the version of software that you wish to download and select Download Now or Add to Cart. Select Proceed with Download. Select Agree. Select download or non-Java download. Click download once again. Select save. Select the directory in which you wish to put the software in and click save. For this lab, I also downloaded version 1.1.1 as well as 1.3.2i. Upgrading from 1.1.1 to 1.3.2i. In this section, we'll be presented with an error when upgrading. We will have to go back and go to 1.1.1d and then to 1.3.2i to get the full upgrade to work. Using a browser, navigate to the Cisco Integrated Management Controller, enter your username and password, and click Login. To confirm the firmware version, go to Tab Admin, select Firmware Management, and you will notice that we are running version 1.1.1. .1. To upgrade, select the Server tab. Next, select Launch. KVM console. Select yes at the security warning. Select run at the second security warning. At the console screen, select tools menu and launch virtual media. Click the add image button. Select the directory where your files are stored. Select file 1.3.2i, click Open. Select the Map button next to the file you selected. Return to the SimC main window. Select Power Off Server and OK. Once the server is powered off, select Power On Server and click OK to start. Return to the Open KVM console. The system should be powering on at this time. I will fast forward to the end of the power up. Once at the end of the boot cycle, you will see the firmware file uncompressing. I will fast forward to the end of the compression. Once the firmware install program has started, you will have to accept the end user license agreement by selecting yes. 
If you select one through five, you can do individual firmware pieces. If you select six, you can do all of the firmware updates. In this case, I will choose six. On average, a full upgrade will take about 13 minutes to perform. This happened in less than a minute. As you can see, there's an error at the bottom that says current version of SimC software is too old to use this utility. Minimum required for SimC version is 1.1.1D. To correctly upgrade this server, we're going to have to stair step and go to 1.1.1D first and then go to the current version. Upgrading from 1.1.1 to 1.1.1D. Due to various bugs in earlier code, I was unable to get Browse client to work, so we will have to upgrade from the TFTP server. For this lab, I already have a TFTP server up and running on the network and the files stored in the TFTP boot directory. Click Install from TFTP server. Enter your TFTP server's IP address and enter the file name of the, of the firmware file we wish to upgrade to. Click Install Firmware. You will see a progress indicator on the screen as the firmware is installed. For the sake of time, I will fast forward to the end of the install. You can now see that the new software has been uploaded and put into the backup version memory slot. We can activate this by clicking on Activate SimC Firmware. Click Activate Firmware. You will lose connectivity to the SimC as it reboots. You will have to refresh your browser to get it back once the, server ha once the SimC has rebooted. Once you return to the SimC login page, you will notice you are on 1.1.1D. Enter your username, password, and login. Select the Admin tab, Firmware Management, and confirm that your running version is 1.1.1D. Upgrading from 1.1.1D to 1.3.2i. To start this upgrade, select the Server tab and click Launch KVM Console. Select the Tools menu, Launch Virtual Media, click Add Image, and choose the new firmware file. Select the Map checkbox next to the file that you added. Select Power Off Server and click OK. Select Power On Server and click OK. Return to the KVM console while the server has begun booting. I will fast forward to the end of the boot and the beginning of the firmware install. Once at the beginning of the firmware install, select Y to accept the end user license agreement. As we saw before, you can select 1 through 5 to do individual firmware pieces, or you can use 6 to install all 5 pieces. In this section, I will select 6 and hit Enter. For the sake of time, I will fast forward to the end of the upgrade process. Now that the firmware has upgraded successfully, I will now click 7 to reboot the server but retain my settings.
As we saw before, we lose connectivity with the SIM-C when the system reboots. Now that we are back to the login window, you can see that we are at 1.3.2.d. I'll put in my username and password and click login. Select the admin tab, select firmware management, and confirm that you are using the appropriate version of software. Thank you for watching this video, and as always, thank you for using Cisco.